Excusez-moi. Hello. 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 Okay, I'm just waiting for some people to jump on here. I chopped all my hair off. I was sick of it. Let me just clean my dishes while I'm waiting for everybody to join. Because I need to get it started. Bloop. Oh, yeah. And I need to finish these. I need to finish these tiny little babies. Whoa, whoa, baby, whoa. Okay. Uh, um, let me just do that for a second and move this because this is my cloth. And I don't, I'm not really sure why I have so many pinks out right now, but sometimes I just do that. Sometimes I just mix a lot of the same color. I have been getting so many uh, Facebook requests on my like non-business page on like the other page. And um, I hate when like sleazy men friggin' message me. You know what I mean? Does that happen to anybody else? <laughs> you know, it's like I, I accept their friend request and then like all of a sudden it's like sleazy men trying to like video me and stuff and I'm like block. Like, as soon as they message me or try to, like, photo, or they try, uh, not photo. What am I trying to say? Huh? What? What am I trying to say? Uh, yeah, so they try to, like, video message me, and they're totally perverted, like, gross. Bleh. People. <laughs> so that's that. That's that story. I know. It's a good one. It's a good long story. Uh, I have a hair. My eyeball. By my eyeball. Did I get it? Oh, I feel like it's right on my face. <laughs> okay. So I'm painting some little wee ones today. Yes, I am. Uh, hello, everybody. I hope everybody is having a awesome day. Yeah, I don't accept them. Yeah, so, okay, so oh, I see it right here so normally I don't accept them because of that reason um hold on I'm just trying to like adjust things over here um so yeah normally I do not it over time I stopped accepting them because of that reason and um hello hello yeah, so I stopped, I stopped and then I had all these other requests and then I was like, oh, I should, you know, and I, so I wasn't reading them and I know better, but apparently I have to be taught over and over. And so I was like, accept, accept it, like just over and over and over and over. And then it's like, I get bombarded by these like raunchy video messages. So then I'm just like, you know, you think that I would be like, you know, be like, no. I'm just lazy and I don't read over all the names. And then that's what happens. It's like, can you please just go somewhere else? Like, I don't want to see that. Okay. Like gross. <sighs> um, I like creepy, but not creepers. Hello. Hello. I know it, it's like so gross and it's like instantly. How do they know that I just accepted their and sometimes like I won't accept anybody for like a few months and then I do and then I'm like, why did I do that? <laughs> you know, it's like crap, but you just have to be real quick and block them as soon as they write like hi or like hi, they'll, they'll be like hi honey or hi sweetie or hi blah 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 and I'm just like block. <laughs> It's like, nope, no, thank you. No, 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 not today. Thank you. So I am actually going to be just painting some little ones today, finishing these ones up. Um, I'll probably, so I'm probably going to, um, let's see. Hello to Ottawa. Here, let me put some over here. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not like the only person that that's happening to. I'm just like, ugh. no, no. Not do it just like that too. Like something's like, like I have a, like a twitch. Oh, okay. So I'm just trying to like narrow down my paints right now because <laughs> I have so many. <clears throat> I miss watching you making babies. Somehow you never come up 
on my timeline and poof, here you are today. Did you have itchy feet? Wait, maybe that's not what it is. Itchy ears? Wait, what is it? itchy nose? I don't know. I don't know. Um, did they clean? Yes, they did. Yeah, she's so excited. She has a six-year-old daughter. She's like, I'm literally crying right now. Yeah, it was it was pretty amazing. It was a lot of fun. <clears throat> okay, so I need to clean. <laughs> That's my new song. You like it? It's the song. Sometimes, oopsie. Sometimes I just make up random songs that are called. <laughs> I found a sponge too. Look at that. Check that out. Um, it was the bear. Uh, let's see. So I think it's called put pudding. Put, no wait. Pumpkin. Pudding. Put in pumpkin. Shoot, I forget, but it's a bountiful, itchy hand, uh, itchy body. Let's just say itchy body. <laughs> yeah, poof, here I am. Your body's itchy, and then boom, bean is right there. <laughs> okay, I love these dishes. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just had a toad in my throat, I think. I think it's a toad. It might be a frog. One of, one of those croaking things. Um, anyways, yeah, so I love this, these dishes. I just do. They clean up so nice. And I don't like, I mean, I, I don't really keep my paint. I mix up my paint as I go, like, all the time. I just like mixing my own colors. So I find those shallow dishes to be pretty awesome. Look at how cute this baby is. So cute. I know I've been wanting to do more paint videos, but sometimes I just get totally sidetracked and then I'm like, mm. and then I feel like sometimes I feel like a loser and nobody wants to watch me anyway. <laughs> sometimes I'm just like, mm, nobody watches you anyway, Bean, you're a loser. <laughs> That's real nice. It's real nice to call yourself that, Bean. Call, call, how awful. Oh yeah, and then I've been making this baby too. So this is a little zombie baby. I've been working on her hair. And I feel like, like here's the limbs. Um, what the, the freaking, excuse my French. Um, I feel like I wanna do like darker color around the feet now and like the knees and stuff. Oh, let me see here. That works, itchy body, exactly. <laughs> itchy body um so I think I have like about six of these I'm going to um I'm going to what am I gonna do what are you gonna do what are you gonna do bean what are you gonna do I don't know I'm gonna pour some thinner in there and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna think about it to rinse my brush out because sometimes we do that I'm almost done that pixie baby the one that I put um hello hello <laughs> um watch I love watching you. I have twisted warped mind. I feel like you totally know me. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Me twisted? What? No. Nah. No. Never. <laughs> Yeah, so I finished the little pixie, so that's awesome. I'm going to do her hair and then get her up on, um, wow, this looks like like throw up from the exorcist, just saying. Right? <laughs> what? So just I just paint with vomit sometimes, no biggie. Don't panic. Don't panic, people, don't panic. Okay, so I'm going to seal up these little baby heads because I have a whole bunch of them to ship off very soon. I've, I've always wanted to invest in one of your babies, maybe when my kids move out. I was just talking about kids moving out today. <laughs> I was like, yeah, they're not going to live at home forever. Well, maybe, maybe a couple of them will. Man, I couldn't wait to move out. I was like, see you later. <laughs> see you later. I got raves to go to now. I need to go party all night long and live my life. 
Okay, so I'm going to seal them up with a little bit of glazing gel here. Yep. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh, you're so nice. Look at you. Look at you going in, in the jar. Good job. Good job, glazing gel. Good job. Okay. I made my paintbrush shorter. Do you like my like my paintbrush job right there? I used to poke myself in the face with it all the time, so Yep. So I went and looked at the most amazing horse yesterday and I'm like dying. I want to buy it so bad. <sighs> you know what the trick is? The trick is, hello, hello. Uh, what kind of paints are you using? I, I'm using Genesis heat set paints. Um, I always use these paints. They're my, they're my favorite because I do a lot of like shading and stuff. So, yep, it's just, just end of my story right there. Um, anyway, yeah, and it was like amazing and I'm like, oh, oof, you know, you know when you want something so bad and you just turn into a toddler? Oh, wait, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just a toddler all the time. Oh yeah, yeah, you probably are. You probably are, Bean. You're probably a toddler all the time. I'm pretty sure. Oh man, look at that. Okay. Ugh. What is going on here? There we go. Um. Anyways, yeah. So I apologize if I miss some of your comments, but I need to start. I need to start grinding here and get some work out. I have, to, I have to get my workout done right now, you guys. This is how I work out. Man, I wish this was a workout, right? I wish painting was a form of working out. Although it is actually a workout for your brain because the more you are creative and the more you use your brain, the like, let me turn on my fan here. Uh, the more you use it, you know, the more you use your creativity, the, the, like, more, like, buff it becomes. It's true. It's true. You have a buff wrestler in your head, like an MMA person in your brain, right? If you're an artist, just saying. Might not look like that on the outside, but definitely MMA on the inside. I mean, that's what counts. <laughs> Unless... Well, yeah, I feel, I feel like mine is a big buff wrestler, my brain and my outside is just like, Oh, I'm so tired. I need to go take a nap. <laughs> Walk down the street. No, no, no. This is just too far. It is just too far. I want to like turn you so you don't, you're not looking at my like double chin all the time, unless you guys like it. If you guys like looking at my double chin, <laughs> you go right ahead and tell me in the comments below. Yeah, I don't know why it took me so long to do lives on, on Facebook. I guess because I just get kind of nervous, like I was saying, you know, about like people just not liking me. <laughs> Although I do kind of work, I, I mean, I kind of walk to my own beat too at the same time. So I don't know. It's like iffy. I, I can go both ways. Just depends on what, what day of the week it is. Depends on what kind of personality wants to come out. <laughs> oh man. And then the, uh, how are you doing today? The, I do YouTube lives, which I really enjoy as well, but they're like super long. They're like an hour-ish sometimes, most of the time, like 90 minutes maybe. And uh, I read the comments and I get constantly sidetracked, like constantly. Like I'm reading the comments. I'll be like, oh, today I went to the store and oh my God, you should have seen this oh yeah, I'm okay. How are you? Where are you from? And it's like, I, I don't even finish my awesome story because I constantly get <laughs> sidetracked. Yep. Good old ADHD. Right? 
have no attention span at all. Unless I'm micro -fo focusing, sometimes I can micro focus. Sometimes it can be really bad too, micro, -fo micro focusing, because um, if I want something and like I think I think about it, it's like in my brain, it's like a little seed that has been put in my brain. I become super obsessive and it's like the only thing that I can possibly think of. It's like my brain is just rationalizing how I'm gonna get it. And it's like, you know, it, it's just, <laughs> And it's just like in my head, like over and over and over. And it like won't shut up. And I'm just like, shh, shh, brain, brain. Okay, seriously, let's just shh. Just try to cut it off like that. One thing that really helps me if my brain is like really, excuse me, if, if it's like really like crazy one day and just will not shut up and it's like obsessing like that horse that I went and saw yesterday it's like my brain is obsessing about it I can sometimes it'll be like and then what I found helps is I think about brushing my horse and it actually does calm my brain down a little bit like I'll think about it and it's like almost like therapeutic and yeah it's like I don't know you guys the quarantine is probably getting to me I think it probably is these little ones are so cute I love these little babies these are the little mini beanstalk buds and I sell them on Etsy and they're super adorable I really like making them but it's hard to go back and forth just because it's like one time I'm making this and then like the bigger ones and the beanstalk buds and then I find that I just don't get to my actual dolls as much. So yeah, and then it's like when am I gonna although I do have a couple. I mean I have I do have a couple dolls that I'm like this one I'm gonna be putting together and then my pixie baby. So there'll be a zombie, a pixie baby, and uh I'm thinking about doing a Grinch. Horses are my favorite animals. I know I love them. Freaking love them so much. Ah! <laughs> oh, 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 hello there. Welcome back. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hello, sister. Okay, this camera, I'm gonna freaking give it a ninja throw punch in two seconds. Like, I don't understand why this thing all of a sudden, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, you effer. I mean, just kidding. I love you. How's that? See? Still see my double chin and everything. There you go, people. There you go. My lips are so red. I don't know why, but like my lips are always like, like that. Hello, hello. There's your face. <laughs> yeah, part of it. Partial, my partial face. And then every time I look down, you get a look at this. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I was saying something and now I totally forgot. And I'm pretty sure I just proved my point about ADD. What was I talking about? Putting dolls together? Oh yeah, I was thinking about doing a Grinch. I haven't made one in a while. And even though it's not Christmas, they're pretty adorable to make. They're very green. They're very green. Very, very green. You're very green, little Grinch up there. Are you listening to me? Better be. Or else. It's okay, I just talked to my dolls over here. I really loved your vampire baby before that you made. She looked just like me when I was a baby. Oh. I'm not really sure which one you're talking about though because like I make a lot I make a lot of vampire babies. Sometimes I because I switch it up and I make different kinds of dolls, like different kinds of themes, sometimes I'm like, oof, I want to make this one or that one. Like the you know, I, I kind of like it almost like gives me a craving of making making one. Like I love this kit. Honestly, like I got this one in the mail not that long ago and it's so cute it's like little newborn face it's a lot smaller than I thought that it would be which is fine but it's just oh, 
so cute. And so I'm going to do that like ultra newborn ish, which takes the long, they're actually really difficult to make. I mean, maybe they're just difficult for me. I don't know. Maybe the, well, I think it's just like the coloring and the amount of layers that you have to do on like the really, really newborn ones. It, it's, you can mess it up really easy. You can put too much purple on it and then boom, you're screwed because you can't correct purple. You can, you can color correct like red and pink and yellow and stuff like that, you know? And so sometimes you can put washes on them and, um, and it would work out fine. But if you put too much purple, it's just going to progressively get darker and darker. And in my opinion, it is the hardest color to correct. And I'm always right, okay? <laughs> I'm always right. I'm the talent. I'm the freaking talent. Oh, look at these eyes. Aren't they pretty? They're squishy. Too. Look at Things really like stick to them though. That's the only downsize. Um, let me see here. The big puffy, what? The big puffy brush, you use that on paint. Um, this one, I use a mop brush. I like mop brushes. I use this one. Oh my God. Oh, it just went swimming in my paint. What are you? brush what the heck what the heck so i use this one um which is a dry brush i also use the real hair horse brushes hair ho horse hair brushes and so these brushes never get they never go in the thinner they're basically just to to blend the paint that's like their job it's their one and only job in life well in my studio anyway um okay so those babies are drying so I am going to work a little bit on the zombie baby and I feel like I want to put, um, let me see. Let me see your face. Let me see your face. See? <laughs> it's not creepy or anything, right? Man, this is a big face though Ugh. don't be trying to put them eyes in your own now oh did you see that video oh that was the I'll show you what kind of eyes those are so it's not even the squishy ones it's actually these ones and at the back there what's crazy is um it, they're they're sharp at the back and someone like it the it was a while ago, but she like put one in her eye and it got stuck. And let me tell you, these are hard to get out of dolls, let alone somebody's eyeball. Cause this, this would go around her eye and then, oh, <laughs> that would have been so awful. Like congratulations person, whoever did that. Um, let me see. So I think I'm going to actually... Hmm. Like, do I want, yeah, hmm, let me see. I think I'm gonna do some creases. Oh. My paint just assassinated my arm. It's okay, little one, there you go. You got more color on your face now. Okay, so I'm gonna do some creasing. First, I'm going to itch my nose, itch my brain. That happens sometimes. Sometimes my brain gets itchy. It's because I have that muscle, the muscle builder. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Just itched right up there. Sometimes you just got to do that. Just got to touch that bodybuilder brain. Okay. Oh, you see that color? It's pretty. I don't know. Hmm. I really like you color. Be my friend. Be my friend. That is 
See, now if I were to paint the doll this color, there's just no way to correct that. It's okay though, because I'm a painting ninja. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional. Sometimes, maybe, I don't know. Let me put a little bit of pink in it though. And then we're looking fantastic. Fantastical. I just want to eat it. Ugh. You don't eat your paint? Oh, you should definitely try it. It's yummy. <laughs> just kidding. Children, don't try that at home. Okay. So now I'm going to get my Bob Ross paintbrush that I sometimes poke my eyeball. Sometimes I do that. I put this up here. And I'm going to start on... Uh, the eyes. I'm going to start on the eyes right here, you guys. Get wrecked. Okay, so I'm just going to go through and do some creases. And you know, the thing about painting these dolls is your left hand works just as much as your right hand if not more. I feel like your left hand probably worked, well, depending on how, what, like, you know, what handed your youth, handed, what hand, is it? What handed you are? <laughs> what the, what's it called? Okay, well, anyways, I'm right-handed, and so it's like, I feel like the other, like the right, I paint with, but the left is, like, super important, too. Cause that's the one that's gonna like balance. Yeah, so so I guess I'm kind of amidextric amidextrous. <laughs> I'm not I'm not even gonna bother trying to repeat that word because clearly I won't be able to say it. So I'm doing purple uh after I just said that it'll ruin your doll. Um just in the creases because she's quite a chunky baby and uh, I like to I like to accentuate curves over here at the twisted bean sock so boom see that it's about time it's about time she gets her curves and this is a real born kit from bountiful baby My goodness, it's so nice out today here. My dominant hand. Uh, wait, what did you? S Funny, poor girl. Wait, what? I missed it. Sorry. For some reason, I have been painting closer and closer to my face. which probably is not the best, it's probably not the best to be huffing these, you know, thinner all day, but I mean, I have to have my fun too, right? <laughs> oh, you make my brain so fuzzy. Oh, probably because you're toxic and I'm inhaling you right now. Right? Gotta have my fun somehow. Just gonna blend this biatch out. <laughs> Just kidding, I love you. Oh yeah, and um, another thing too about lives is like sometimes I, a lot of the time I speak before like I'm actually gonna say something and it's like my body and my brain are not connected. You know, it's like my my brain is like, don't stop don't do it. And then my mouth is like, blah, 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 blah. and it, and it's like, I can't control sometimes what comes out of my mouth. Just FYI. <laughs> I mean, I try to be careful, but, <laughs> but it's all I got to say about that. I'm going to give you a little blend here.
See, it just kind of brings it out a little bit more. Look at this hand. It's like, oh, did you hear that? Did you, did you just hear my shoulder? You're like closest to it. I mean, if anybody heard it, it would be you. Just sitting over there all quiet. What a good little zombie baby. High five. Okay, let's do the other arm. Because sometimes over here we do the other arm. Be yourself. <laughs> yeah. It's actually really fun. Like, I actually really enjoy doing live videos. Keeps me company. And I do paint very, I've said this a lot of time before, but like I paint very different from other reborn artists. I feel like, it, I mean, everybody has their own kind of way, but when I watch, uh, like sometimes when I'm like, oh, I'm going to watch this video and I'm just like, I, it's so different from the way that I do it. And I mean, everybody's going to have their, their own way of painting, their own style but it's just funny how like, how. Don't mind me, I just got an itchy brain over on this side. Yeah, so sometimes you can't really, like it's good to learn and do different different kinds of, uh, like if you wanna practice different ways and look at different artists and kind of research and see who does what. And then you start painting and then eventually you'll you'll kind of like have your own comfort zone. And also I make fantasy babies. So I feel like, yeah, I just feel like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. I know it's just gotta, it's just gotta be real sometimes. It's the only way to do it in life. really like this purple so pretty oh you're so pretty I freaking love you you little purple a-hole <laughs> anyway <laughs> let me do a little around the hands and the fingers this baby is like extremely chunky I'm pretty sure it's like the size of a three month old. Stay twisted makes life fun. Oh, yep. It sure does. I have to put together a couple babies. I know I've said that already. So I have to do that today. And then I have, today's Sunday, right? Is today Sunday? I'm pretty sure today's Sunday. Um, have to put these babies up on Etsy ASAP. A freaking snap or sap. Something. Something along those lines. I'm just going to give her a little more of a purple hand. See? Oh, it's purple. I like it. Um, I, fe I feel you should do a live with Dream. Um, I thought about it, but I don't know, maybe. So awesome to see the, pro the process. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty cool actually. Sometimes I forget that it's neat to watch, but at the same time I understand it because I'm like, oh yeah, I like doing that. Or I like even, I don't know, like when I first started making dolls, I was like really interested in, in watching people and see how they see how they do everything. Add a little bit of purple. I love your babies. I'm lucky enough to have a little vampire. Uh, you and your son made. I've started teaching myself. Oh, it cut it off. There's there's so many reborn artists now than there used to be. Like whoa like freaking whoa um let me see i need a yes i need a sponge there we go there we go little sponge there's a lot of people that scam other people though 
you know, they're like making dolls and then they get on there and they're like, oh, so-and-so made it. Or they're like, oh yeah, this is the doll that you get and it's like really nothing like it at all. So I just added a little more purple. I think I'll put a little more purple up here. I do love to paint. Sometimes I have to take long breaks though. And it only, it happens every once in a while or sometimes I'm like, eh, I don't wanna paint. And then like, I'll, I'll sit here and then I'll actually finally pick something up and start it. It's, it's like, I have to just, you have to have, I mean, I feel like you have to have really good to be, I mean, if you're, if you're a full-time artist or full-time reborn artist, you have to have really like the passion for it. Like you have to have the passion and like the drive. And if you're working from home, you have to really have that, uh, discipline as well. Like you have to be very disciplined and like, hurrah, you know, hoo <laughs> Um, I'm teaching myself to do reborns too. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, you, you have to, I don't know. It's like, a, it's just like a system that I have. It's like, sometimes I just don't argue with myself when I'm not wanting to be, not to paint, but I have so much other parts of the business that people don't even see, which is like, you have to do all the social media, all the listing, the Etsy listings, the pictures, the shipping, you know, shipping labels, um, all of that takes you know, a lot, a lot of time. So the nice thing about it is you're not just painting. There's other, lots of other parts that kind of have come into play. And then I, I, uh, sell onesies and stuff too. So sometimes I'll make, be making blankets and onesies and F you hiccups, hiccups, you better not freaking happen or I'm going to chop kar karate. Ugh, ugh. What's the word? Karate? Okay, how about we do the legs? Do the legs and then that's it. Then I have to bake her. Got to cook her up for dinner, right? Mmm, baby. <laughs> Ugh. That was just, wow, Bean. That was pretty appropriate. I have these, some of the dolls come with belly plates and they have like, boy, hey, Sharon, how are you? Um, I have these, like some come with belly plates and they're like boys and girls and I feel so awkward painting them. Like I, a lot of the time I'll put a sticker over their like part so I don't have to look at it. <laughs> I'm just like, no, no. Nope. <laughs> oh man. It's okay though. Cause like stickers are kind of like a G string. You just put it on there and stop worrying. The heck put my fingers in my paint, everything. Oh, how is it almost July? That's what I want to know. I want to know how, where I was abducted into what spaceship who abducted me and then dropped me back off at earth in July it's like all of, it was like April and then like now it's July and it's like what and it's not going any friggin faster or slower faster it's definitely it's going fast like <clears throat> it's just no other way to explain it it just says it all right there told you I'm a two-year-old I used to put purple all over the doll like way thinner which is um more of like a wash and then and then I realized that oh yeah purple is so hard to correct and also because I make so many different kinds like I'm constantly 
constantly uh, mixing up different colors. Like I jump, my palette is is huge. Like my palette, my palette reach is. I have a very big palette, <laughs> a very big palette. But just because like there's so many different kinds that I make, it's it's pretty it's pretty intense, you guys. It's pretty intense. But somehow I manage. I just happen to be. I just happen to love color and be okay at it. So here I am, boom, on Facebook. Oh, look at that pretty, pretty purple foot. You're so pretty when you're purple. <laughs> actually it's not even really I mean that's like if somebody was really like that it would be pretty disturbing actually god remember when I first started making dolls and people would call me like <laughs> I think they still do maybe when they're just meeting me <laughs> they call me all kinds of things so I'm like oh whoa I'm also one of those gifs uh one of those are they called they're called Jiffy or GIFs or J, uh, it's G, is it G-I-F? You know, like the G-I-Fs. I don't know how to pronounce it, you guys, okay? I mean, I can't be good at everything. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm one of them. Like, if you put in Twisted Beanstalk, you'll see it. My face comes up and it's like, I care, but I don't care. <laughs> when I did the 60-second docs, they, like, took the clip and, yeah, so... Apparently I'm in, I'm a Jif, Jif, G-I-F, Jiffy, Jeffy, whatever you want to call it. That's what I am. Okay, let's do the last leg. We're on the last leg. We're on the last leg. Giddy up. Giddy up, you guys. Giddy freaking up. Okay. This is a big baby. Like, I'm shocked on how big it is. Um, I'm glad to see that you use the paints a bit thicker to not super thin down. Yeah, I don't at all. Like I, um, I feel like when I started, it probably was thinner, but eventually over time, I realized that you can shade in certain areas and then like, so to do multiple colors on at the same time. So instead of like baking it like 50 times, you know, doing blue, doing red, pink, yellow, whatever. Um, then I learned that you could put it on at the same time and made it a little bit easier, but also that I don't have to just do, do washes where, I mean, I thought about doing a tutorial, like following a tutorial of just like a regular making a regular reborn and I'm just like what they do it so different like so different but I'm like I should try that tutorial just to see you know be like oh my god look at you guys I can make reborns <laughs> I've been doing it wrong for 10 years what the heck you just learn so much as you go too and what you're comfortable with you know I don't know But I do paint closer and closer to my face, and I'm not exactly sure why I do that. <laughs> like I said, I probably just like huffing the, the paint thinner. Uh, some paint thinner makes me so sick. I use like this orange, uh, what is it? Some like natural orange-ish. Orange-ish, I'm pretty sure that's the name. It's orange-ish. But yeah, it's like, ooh, smells so good. Don't want to eat it though. It's probably not good to do. I mean, I'm just saying, in case you're thirsty, right? You need a little drink, don't drink paint thinner. It's just not good. It's just not a, not a, a good thing to do. Probably tastes nasty. But it smells good. It smells like oranges. <laughs> so 
some people wear gloves as well while they paint. I do not because I'm a slob that way. Just a schlobber knocker. I do wash my hands a lot though because it's hard. The paint is hard to see on your hands. Like if I were to paint with acrylics, you would see paint all over me. But seeing how these are a little more like translucent, you don't see them as much, but it's still definitely there. It's just invisible. And trust me, if you were to like rub your face, which I do a lot, um, or like put your, you know, be like, ah, you know, in case sometimes you just want to lick the palm of your hand. <laughs> you. My point is don't eat your paint. <laughs> That's my point. I mean, I can't stop you from eating your paint. I'm just giving you my professional, my professional opinion. Don't eat your paint. <laughs> Whoa. That one's going dark fast. There we go. Huh. Got a little more color. Ooh la la. There we go. So this baby's almost done. I just have to add like, I'll probably add a couple thinner layers and then do the, uh, the sealer with the, uh, the sealer with like a medium in it, which will lock in the color and make it like here. I'll sh and I'm almost done this doll. Yeah, you have to seal up the dolls otherwise, because you just want to take care of that paint. But here she is. She's a little pixie. I'm gonna give her hair. Um, I was back and forth about painting her hair. And I was like, yeah, they look so cute with like, I, th I think I just will do like kind of a wig on her. Yeah, I like to wig out. I like to wig out over here. <laughs> but she's so cute, right? Like she's like naughty. She's like a naughty little pixie baby. I mean, I did make her, so. But um, I'm going to go because how long have I been on? I don't even know. I don't even know. But I have to bake babies. Ugh, ship off some babies today. And uh, which probably is my least favorite thing to do. Honestly, it's like, I don't know. What, actually, no, that's not true. I don't like taking pictures, like actual, like legit pictures with my nice camera. <sighs> Why? Why? Man. I wish one of my kids did that so I could just hire them and be like, boom, congratulations. This is your school. Take photos, right? I wish I could just do that. And then I am going to start this. Ba well, this baby's already started, but, um, and then let's see. So I have the Grinch baby. I have that one. God, I have so many in the works right now. Look at, <laughs> <laughs> I'm way too entertained by that doll right there. Oh yeah, and then I have this one, which is also a newer kit. And it looks a lot cuter when it's reborn, really. It's not as cute when it's blank, but it is very cute when it's when it's painted. So and then I have whoa, whoa head. Don't be, don't be freaking going across the floor there. Be careful. I have this one that I'm going to be putting on Etsy, a little zombie baby, probably, um, hopefully later today, actually. I hope so. Anyways. And this kit's name is Bean, by the way. It's me. This is me when I came out of the, of the birth canal. It's me right there. My mom was so excited. She's just like, I've always wanted a zombie baby. 
Oh God, why? Um, anyways, I'm going to go. Thank you for hanging out with me. And um, I always appreciate you guys so much. And I will see you later. Bye.